All right, so now we've got all the components of our portrait done. We have the composited watercolor under underpainting. We've got the the actual uh, painted underpainting, <laughs> digitally painted underpainting. We've got the refined painting, which is just for the focal points and for some of the hard edge shadows. And we've got the sketch over the top that started it all, kind of holding it all together. So when we put them together, we get this nice mixture of hard edges and soft edges. And the sketch is necessary in some areas for sure, especially around the lips. Um, but I think it does it in a nice, nice way that softens the expression in the way we like. Now we can always erase away. We feel it's too strong. And this is what it looks like up close. Nice mixture of hard and soft. Can damp in some areas. Basically, you want a hard edge on one side and soft edges on the other. But when it's hard edges just all around, it just looks a little too, too fake. So now I might take that underpainting and do the Gaussian blur to it of just 1.1 pixels. So let's look at that on its own. And there might be some areas like in here where it feels a little too sharp, where I can just kind of circle all of that and blur it a little bit more. Just by repeating that over and over. And you'll see that slight difference. Okay, so now the question is what to do with the background. So this is on a white background. This is with the um, paper texture from my sketch behind. So let's see if we can bring that out a little bit more. Yeah, not so much. It's going to give me more kind of sketch lines at the edges. In some places it helps quite a bit. So I might keep it, but I might take its opacity down a little. Right, and now um, the problem with it is if I bring in a, some sort of colored background, so for instance, if I fill the background with middle gray, which I usually do for digital paintings, you can see that the sketch is going to affect that. But at a lower opacity, it's not going to affect it so much. Now where this can be helpful, this middle gray, is it can show me where there are edges I can clean up. Yeah, especially in the composited. So just kind of little branches and things that I probably don't want.
just softening some of these hard edges. And if it works on the gray background, and it does okay, then it is going to work um, with a more playful background as well. So let's look at some of my inspirations, right? We have the Hans Hoffman. And we can just be bold and bring the Hans Hoffman in. <laughs> I'm going to have to play with it quite a bit. It's old enough to be in the public domain. Push it behind, All right? Behind our sketch there. Let's rasterize it and let's let's play with it. So the first thing I want to do is I actually want to find all these kind of loose marks. And duplicate those in the background onto their own layer. And if I bring that over the top, you'll see how kind of crazy and energetic those are. It's kind of fun. This is what I like about digital. We can be very experimental. I want to bring them into the frame, kind of over the top. And now I can play with overlay, soft light, different ways of kind of getting them in there. Pin light, linear light, Vivid light. So I can even try tracting or giving me the difference. I'm going to invert. Well, that's kind of interesting. I can push it then behind. So let's try soft light. Hmm, let's try normal. So I like that in the background. But I need to soften it a little bit. But I'm going to make a duplicate of it. Command J. Move it up over the top. At least over the top of the composite layer. There we go. And I want to soften it probably quite a bit. And then I want to take its opacity down. And erase away. Or I don't think it's as, as as helpful. This is almost like uh, like sanding <laughs> or scratching your watercolor after you're done with it. You don't want to dismiss it out of hand as just not something that's useful. We get to play around. That's interesting, just doubling up the underpainting. See if I double up the refined painting, and take it back down, it just strengthens it a little bit. If I double up the composite, yeah, it doesn't do anything too necessary, just widens the edge. So this is starting to work. I'm 
me take this down slightly. And just being a little bit selective where they, these things come through. All right, so I like, I like it all in general. I think, let's see. So it's playing around with different things in the background, above, below, how that works. And as I see kind of the eye movement go through, Let me mess with this some more. So if I take this at a low opacity, and then I'm going to make a duplicate of it, the Hans Hoffman. And then what I'm going to do is really blur it. Like so, and then erase away from it. Or rather, dodge. Let's play with its color balance a little bit. The yellow just feels so toxic. Well, ultimately, I'll probably have to take down the saturation. But... And I'm looking at the navigator here and to see what complements. 